Okay, hello year three. It's Monday, it's our last week of guided reading online. Fingers crossed, I'm absolutely sure it will be. Okay, uh, before we get into our guided reading, I thought we'd have a little game. So I'm going to describe some well-known children's characters from fairy tales. Um, and you've got to try and guess, how, guess who they are. Okay, so the first one. This person lives on the edge of a forest. Think about any characters that might live on the edge of a forest. This character has a grandmother who lives in the forest. Any ideas yet? Any guesses? This character is a child. So we're building lots of clues here, aren't we, for who this could possibly be. This character carries a basket of goodies. Mm, hopefully you might be thinking you know who it is. And this character likes the colour red. Now I think that's quite a big clue, that last one. This character goes on a journey into the woods to visit their grandmother in the woods. This person encounters a problem when they get to their grandmother's house. This character asks lots of questions when she gets to her grandmother's house. And finally, this person gets gobbled up. All right, now, hopefully, I think you've probably got it by now. This person is saved by somebody with an axe. Are you recognising now who this person is? This person is, of course, Little Red Riding Hood. Well done if you got that. Uh, we've got time for one more really quick one. OK, this character was created by humans. So think about any characters that are created by humans. That's quite an obscure one, I think. This character started out as Doe. Oh, excuse me. Um, this character found it a bit too hot. This character escaped and ran away. Any ideas yet, thinking about this character? This character really likes to run and runs a long way. This character is chased by lots of people and animals. This character comes to a river and doesn't want to get wet. I think there's some really big clues there so far. I think most of you will probably have got that. This character trusted a fox. Now we know that foxes aren't the most trusting of creatures, are they? Not trust, sorry, not trusting, most trustworthy of creatures. This character moved further and further towards the danger zone on the fox. I think you've probably got it by now. This character was of course the gingerbread man. So remember, he started out as some gingerbread dough. He came out of an oven and he ran away, didn't he? With lots of people chasing him down the streets until he came to the river where he trusted the fox and the fox gobbled him up. And that was the end of the gingerbread man, wasn't it? <gasps> okay, well, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. Uh, okay, let me pull up my screen and we can get going. All right, so uh, today's date and Walt, Monday the 1st of March 2021. And today's Walt, explore themes in books we have read. Now remember last time we were looking at some Dick King Smith books, weren't we? We were talking about the theme of a Dick King Smith book. Um, all right, so once you've got those written down, you can pause the video uh, whilst you write them and then come back, all right? Now, once you've got them written down, I'd like you to have a think about what we know about themes. What is a theme? 
And I've already answered the second question. What author will we have been comparing themes with? That was Dick King Smith, wasn't it? So let's have a think about a theme. Just take a few seconds. You can pause the video here. That's absolutely fine. What do you think a theme is? Think about your favourite book, maybe. What would you say the theme is in your favourite book? How would you describe it? So pause the video. Just have a 30 second think and then come back. <sighs> OK, all right. So. Uh, what themes did we discover when we were looking at Dick King Smith books last week? So we talked about the fact that Dick King Smith often write about, writes about animals and how he draws his inspiration from his time living on a farm in Gloucestershire. Remember, he was, he was a local man. He, he grew up in Gloucestershire on a farm. So a lot of his ideas, a lot of his inspiration comes from his time living on a farm. Um, so we said that most of his themes were around animals and around farming. And we also briefly discussed whether there's like good and bad in his stories and those sorts of things that come into play. I've got a really itchy nose here three, sorry. Uh, let's have a look. All right then. So we've got the word theme. So if we break up the word theme, we can almost make the message with those words, can't we? So what is the message? Instead of just knowing that the books are about animals, what common messages do you think are shared in Dick King Smith stories? So just take a moment. Let's just think back to Babe, I think is a good idea to start with, because we all know Babe, don't we, the sheep pig, because we've read that one and we've done quite a lot of work on it. So let's think about Babe. Let me just remind you, because I've got a picture here. Here it is. I've still got it here with me. Babe, the sheep pig. And I'm going to read the blurb to you. Orphan Piglet Babe thinks his luck might be changing when he is won at a fair by Farmer Hoggett. Back on the farm, Fly the kind-hearted sheepdog adopts him. Babe wants to do everything Fly can do. He knows he can't do, be a sheepdog, but could he be the world's very first sheep pig? Okay, so that's the blurb on the back to give us a bit of an idea, just to re-jog your memories. So when we were looking at um, Babe, I think we need to think about what the what the common messages are. Certainly for sheep pig, I would say we've got some courage going on in there, haven't we? Um, and I'd say there's also kindness. The courage comes from Babe, but I'd say also the courage comes from Farmer Hoggett because he's going against what everybody thinks a farmer should do. No farmer has ever used a, a pig before as a sheep dog. So he's being quite brave there because there is always the risk that he could be uh, made fun of, I suppose, by all of his farmer friends. Um, there's also a lot of kindness, isn't there? So Farmer Hoggett is very kind to pick to Babe, but also Fly. Fly is a big, big part of Babe's life and Babe's learning. She's very kind. She teaches him everything that she knows. And remember, right at the very beginning, her pups start taking the mickey out of him, don't they? And they're a bit bit unkind but Fly steps in and, and teaches them to be kind and she takes him under her wing which means she looks after him. She treats her, treats him as her own pup doesn't she? And that's how they become such good friends. So good in fact that Babe starts calling her Ma doesn't he or Mum. Um, all right let's move on. Okay so here are some common messages. I'm just going to move my little video. Otherwise, I won't be able to see what I'm doing here. So let's have a look. <clears throat> so let's have a look. We've got acceptance. So these books have characters who repeat and accept others' differences and beliefs. So actually, you could say that there's acceptance going on in the sheep pig, couldn't you? So in terms of uh, fly accepting babe, and Farmer Hoggett accepting Babe, and even Mrs. Hoggett accepting Farmer Hoggett's crazy ideas to have a sheep pig on the farm. Uh, now we've talked about courage. So these, these are brave characters who have the strength to overcome a fear or accept a risk. That's definitely Babe, I think there, and definitely Farmer Hoggett. Uh, what else have we got? Perseverance. So these books have 
characters who never give up, even when facing difficult times. So you can see already actually that a lot of these common themes can be found in the same book. Uh, cooperation, these books have characters who work together to solve a problem or achieve a goal. Now try and make sure you're reading along in the same part with me. So I'm down here at the moment, you can see my little cursor hopefully flying around. What's that doing there? I don't want that there. Um, then we've got compassion. These books have characters who want to make those who are suffering feel better. So I'd say that compassion, that could be Fly in our Babe story, couldn't it? She's very compassionate because she can see that Babe is a little bit sad and he's not sure what to make of everything. And actually she knows what happens to pigs on farms and generally um, they become lunch, don't they, or dinner. So she, she feels compassion for him. She wants to help him. Uh, then we've got honesty. These books have characters who find that it is best to always tell the truth. Mm. Now, Farmer Hoggett doesn't tell the truth initially, does he? He just goes off and does what he wants. So he doesn't tell his wife what he's planning. He just goes and does it. So I don't think there'd be an honesty for Farmer Hoggett. Uh, kindness. These books have friendly characters who are generous and considerate to others. So I'd say kindness is definitely fly. And I would actually uh, include Farmer Hoggett in there as well. He's very kind to Babe, isn't he? He even lets Babe go in the house. Then we've got loyalty. These books have characters who trust each other and never turn their backs on their friends. Now, if you think back to Babe, when Babe saves the sheep um, and Farmer Hoggett and Mrs Hoggett actually initially think that Babe has hurt the sheep, don't they? And it's Fly who goes out and finds, finds what happened really with the, sh with the sheep wranglers, they called them. All right, let's have a little look. Oh, why is it not working? Oh, here we go. It is working. Good. Am I still recording? I hope so. Yes, it seems to be. Good. Um, sorry, my internet's a bit blinky tonight. Um, right, what do you think the main theme was in Babe? So we've just talked about some of the themes. What do you think the main theme would be in Babe? Pause the video, just have a moment. If you've got anybody around you, have a little chat, tell them what you can remember and what you think the main theme is in Babe and then come back. All right, so hopefully you've all had a little think now. I would say the main theme in Babe for me, and I think it's a little bit of a personal thing actually, the main theme could actually be acceptance uh, because they're all kind of accepting that somebody can be different and still do a good job of something. And that's quite a nice uh, trait to have in people, isn't it? Oh, there we go. There's the sheep pig. All right, let's move on. Okay, so today what you're going to be doing is you're going to be filling in your own sheets. So you're going to be finding, thinking about stories that you know that have acceptance as a theme, and you're going to write your story in here. Not the whole story, just the, just the title. Um, and if you could include the author, that would be amazing. So I think it's always really, really great to remember your authors. Um, so there is a sheet for you. Is it going to come up now? But this is the top of the sheet. So the shot, the sheet is included on your daily planner for you to find. Um, so I shall read this out to you. Your task today is to use your knowledge of books that you have read to match them to the common themes. OK. Um, so, for instance, let's just think about Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, I would think, hmm, courage maybe, she's quite quite um, brave isn't she, even when she's a little bit unsure that her grandmother is in fact her grandmother, she still keeps asking questions, I'd say that's quite brave, and she perseveres with her questions doesn't she, hmm. There's also um, a kindness there, isn't there, from the from the woodcutter, because he recognises that there's something funny going on and he comes along and saves 
uh, Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma. All right, so that is your task today. I would love it if you could think of a different book for each common theme, but some of them, like I said, they might overlap. So you might have the same book for this for different um, themes, but it would be great if we could have a different book in each theme. Now, I'd really, really love it if you could share some of these on Dojo with us. All right, that would make me incredibly happy. And I think that's a really great end to our online guided reading. Okay, I shall leave that with you. Let me come out of here and enjoy. Hopefully you can think of lots of different stories that you've read. Have a chat with the people around you. If it's your, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, talk about the different books that you've read. It could be a book that you've read with your parents. It could be a book that they've read to you as a bedtime story. Or it could be a book that you've read on your own. OK, enjoy your activity and I will see you later. Bye, everybody.